Let's look at an example of motion tracking in Mystica. Here we have a boat and we want to put a light on top of its mast. So we have to do motion tracking for this point. We've also got the problem that it gets hidden when a rail passes in front of it. We open the tracking tool and we choose a tracking point on a part of the mast that is well defined. In this case, we're going to track forward since the tracking zone is larger and better defined at the end of the shot. As we continue with the tracking, we come up against a problem. The tracking point gets lost behind another object. So we move the tracking point to a point on the boat's hull while holding down the ALT key. This represents an offset in order to keep tracking the same movement. Here we lose it again. So we go back one frame and again keeping the ALT key down, we put the tracking point somewhere else. Next we drag the track button towards the left to calculate the motion tracking for the rest of the shot. As you can see we now have the complete curve. Now we're going to insert the light using a circle effect. We reduce its radius and soften the light applying a little bit soft parameter. We add this circle to the clip of the boat using the effect Add, which then adds luminosity to the clip. We're going to add the light to the top of the mast, to do which we select the circle effect and using the position manipulator to position it. Now we're going to apply the tracking curves to the light tracking. We open the tracking panel and in the apply section we find the buttons for applying the motion tracking curves to an effect in different ways, such as position, rotation and stabilize. We select the file for the circle effect which contains the parameters of the positions X and Y and we apply the tracking curves using apply position. We can now see that the light remains on top of the mast at all times.